Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing a couple different ways to make Fluix crystals. Um, Fluix crystals are components needed for a lot of different builds, um, and this tutorial was actually specifically requested from one of the viewers in the comment section. So thank you very much for that recommendation. Um, if you have any recommendations for tutorials in Minecraft Sky Effect 4 you'd like to see, please feel free to put those down in the uh, comments and I'll see what I can put together for you. Um, there's a couple different ways to make a Fluix crystal, um, and I'm going to be using two different machines to do it today. You can use either one of them. Um, if you find the video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, and most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll see all my tutorials and videos as they come out. All right, so today we're going to be using a metallurgic infuser and an alloy furnace. Now, either one of these components will make your Fluix crystal. You do not need both, um, but both components uh, work really well and are going to be needed for a lot of other things you do, so I'm going to kind of show how to do both at once. So a metallurgic infuser is two furnace, two pieces of redstone, four iron ingots, and one osmium ingot. That's going to give you a metallurgic infuser. For the alloy furnace, it is four basic plating, a redstone, a furnace, two brick, and one copper solenoid. And that will make you an alloy furnace. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab both of those and the components we need to make our stuff. So, um, now, both of these components are going to need an RF power source. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just using a very simple combustion generators, um, but any type of RF source should work for this. So we're going to start by putting down our metallurgic infuser and an alloy furnace. Now, the recipe for making the Fluix crystal itself is the same in both components. It's going to be a redstone and a crystallized mineral chunk. So starting with the infuser, if you right-click on that, First thing you do is you're going to put your crystallized mineral chunks, and then you're going to put your redstone. The redstone is going to be converted into a power source, which will then convert this crystallized mineral chunk into our Fluix crystal. And I say power source, that's a bad choice of wording. Your RF power source is here. Um, this is more of like a fuel, if you will. Um, and if this runs out, you just put in more redstone. Um, redstone plates and stuff, will, redstone blocks, all of those will work. Now, the metallurgic infuser can be used for making a lot of different components, and it's not always redstone that you're going to use as a fuel. A very common one is coal. So to clear that out, you can click dump, which will empty everything in your fuel tank, allowing you to put in a different type of fuel source. But as you can see, it is converting these crystallized mineral chunks into Fluix crystals. All right. So now we're going to look at the alloy furnace. Same basic process. This one, of course, has your RF energy stored. Next, we're going to do is we're going to put our redstone in, and then we're going to put our crystallized mineral chunk. Now, it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to convert one of each of these into our Fluix crystal. We'll allow that to go through. Now, this device can, of course, have different upgrades, speed upgrades, and so on, different things you can do to make it go faster. But both of these components will give you your Fluix crystals. So. Again, very easy process, but both of these components are, or uh, machines are very important. Uh, one is the mechanism mod, that's your infuser, and then your alloy furnace is from the nuclear craft mod. But a lot of the different things, machines, components, and such you're going to need later on are going to require one of these two devices. Uh, so I do recommend putting them together and having one ready as soon as possible. Um, but again, for today's recipe, we were also showing you how to make the Fluix crystals themselves. And those, as long as they've got RF and fuel, those will continue to convert and make your Fluix crystals or whichever recipe you are using. All right. So that's the very basics of these machines. There are some advanced components and such that you can be used. Um, I'll do a tutorial on those later. But today was just showing you how to very basically make and use those components. So uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or this process, uh, feel free to throw those down in the comments. As, as I mentioned before, any recommendations you may have for tutorials that you would like to see. Um, and I'd be happy to try and put something together for you. Uh, but that's going to pretty much do us for this video. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Have a great day.